This is the story of Dugnay ng Pahinungod, of how the volunteering spirit that lies in the heart of every UP student can be harnessed and linked towards concrete acts and noble ends, of how a UP student whose name you may not know and how a UP program whose name you may not have heard of can touch the lives of our lesser privileged countrymen in a most meaningful way. Allow us to tell you our story. The Office of the Ugnay ng Pahinungod Oblation Corps is a prime and concrete example of how the university fulfills its social and moral responsibility to get involved in the life of the nation. The program's lifeblood is the willing service of its faculty, staff, graduates, students, retirees, both as individuals and members of groups or organizations they represent. The Volunteer Service Program is an integral part of UP's mission. It enriches the university's functions of instruction, research, and extension, even as it expresses in a more forceful and focused way the ideals of nationalism and social commitment that gives meaning to the brand, Tatak UP. The Ugnay ng Pahinungod was born in 1994, a tiny spark that crystallized from then-UP President Emil Q. Javier's proverbial baptism of fire. Responding to the scathing criticism that UP has lost its soul, he formed the Ugnay ng Pahinungod Oblation Corps as the Institutional Volunteer Service Program of the University of the Philippines. The Ugnay ng Pahinungod, through its founding system director, Dr. Ledovina V. Carino, formalized the spirit of volunteerism as a mission of the university. As envisioned by President Javier, the scholar ng bayan must not only be a recipient of the people's beneficence, but also be a pahinungod who is their willing servant. As the National University, the foremost expectation of us is to produce graduates, alumni, who embody the traits of uh, great scholarship, honor, and excellence, but who, in addition, have the virtue of caring, love for others, especially the less fortunate, with the profound sense of service to the nation, which funded university, the university in the first place. I am therefore encouraged that Painungod continues to attract volunteers among our students, staff, and alumni, only proving that in fact the university has never lost its soul, which was the original challenge post the university back then 27 years ago. I am forever grateful to President Danikon for finding it appropriate that in his administration the additional uh, emphasis and support for Pahinyungod became part of his agenda. One of the uh, side consequences of uh, our putting up Pahinyungod was the setting up of a formal structure for voluntarism and recognizing this as a formal university effort. Actually, Pahinungod or voluntarism cuts across the traditional functions of teaching, research, and extension. So the real essence of Pahinungod, as far as a university, as the first domestic concern, is in fact values education, making sure that the 20 year olds that we turn out every year from the university will have bred into their DNA the concept of service, of offering of oneself. The name Ugnayan ng Pahinungod is an echo of the university's identity. Ugnayan stands for connecting or linking to signify that Pahinungod is a coming together of efforts for public service and volunteerism, while Pahinungod a Visayan word meaning offering encapsulates the spirit of the oblation, 
the university's symbol of selfless service to the nation. In 2001, due to a shift of priorities in the university, the Pahinungod System Office was downgraded to a committee, leading to the closing down of most campus Pahinungod offices, with only those in UP Manila and UP Los Baños remaining open to keep the Pahinungod flame alive. Thankfully, 27 years after it was born and following 20 years of semi-dormancy, another champion of volunteerism emerged. In 2019, UP President Danilo L. Concepcion saw the need to reignite public service and social responsibility through Executive Order PDLC No. 19-01, Lugnay ng Pahinungod was revitalized, reverting the Pahinungod Committee back to the System Pahinungod Office and bringing new offices to the six constituent units of the university to reinforce the existing Pahinungod offices in UP Los Baños and Manila, which steadfastly stood their ground and kept the Pahinungod spirit aflame since its inception in 1994. Ang mga gawain ng Pahinungod ay ipinagpapatuloy naman ng mga bagong henerasyon ng mga scholar ng bayan. Ang kanilang sinimulan na volunteer service program noon na naging formal na bahagi ng UP ay lumago at naitaguyod sa pagsisikap ng mga nag-alay ng kanilang oras at talino. Ngayon, may pahinugod na saan man sa ating mga campus sa Luzon, Visayas at Mindanao. Ito ay pagpapatibay ng commitment ng mga guro, estudyante, kawani at alumni ng UP sa paglilingkod sa kapwa at sa pangunguna sa gawaing kapaki-pakinabang sa komunidad. Mahalaga para sa ating mga nasa akademiya at mga nasa sektor ng edukasyon ang maipagpatuloy ang pakikipag-ugnayan sa ating mga komunidad na katuwang natin kasabay ng ating pagpapakadalubhasa o pag-aaral, pagtuturo at pagsasaliksik na siyang buod na layunin ng ating universidad. Mula sa mga karanasang hatid ng volunteerismo, ang pahinungod ay nagkakaroon ng pagkakataong makibahagi sa pinagdaraanan ng kanyang kapwa. Nakakapagnilay siya tungkol sa pakikipagkapwa-tao na tututo mula sa lipun ng kinabibilangan at nakikibahagi sa paghahangad ng pagbabagong kinakailangan ng kanyang kapwa at komunidad na pinaglilingkuran. Mula sa mga karanasan at pagkatuto, nabubuo ang pagkataon ng isang pahinungod tungo sa pagiging mabuting mamamayan. In 2021, the Pahinungod exists across all eight UP constituent units, each with a director reporting to their respective chancellors, with an overarching system office that chairs the Pahinungod Council under the office of the UP President. The Ugnayan Pahinungod System Office reopened with Dr. Grace Aguiling Dalisay, who was system-wide director until 2001, returning as System Director and Chair of the Ugnayan ng Pahinungod Council of Directors. As the Founding System Director of the Ugnayan ng Pahinungod, Dr. Ledevina V. Carino designed the Pahinungod program to provide UP faculty, students, staff, alumni, and even retirees with diverse opportunities for volunteer service. The Ugnayan ng Pahinungod programs integrated volunteering in teaching such as in the service learning option and introducing degree programs on voluntary sector management. It encouraged research and publication on volunteering such as the books titled Homecoming, Brief History and Special Places under the Local History Program and Extending the Self volunteering as pakikipagkapwa. As the director of the Ugnayan ng Pahinungod System Office, she coordinated with the Pahinungod offices across the UP system to achieve the mission of the Ugnayan ng Pahinungod, which is to make the university a more caring academic community that is bound together by a commitment to the empowerment of people and selfless service to the nation. Pahinungod has a wide array of programs and projects that cater to various sectors and specific needs of communities, three of which 
are system-wide programs under the Pahinungod System Office. These are the Pahinungod Volunteering Development Program, the Gurung Pahinungod Program, which includes the Teacher Development Program, the Affirmative Action Program, and the Tutorial Services Program. The third of these are the Psychosocial Services Program through the Pahinungod Committee on Psychosocial Emergency Services, or COPES. As the coordinative body linking all CU Pahinungod offices, the system office runs Volunteering 101, an advocacy program geared to promote volunteerism through engagements in public fora. Pahinungod is also committed to help uplift the quality of education in the country. Its main education program, the Gurong Pahinungod, sends UP alumni to public high schools in underserved areas of the country as volunteer teachers. The GP program has evolved from a single program into an integration of all educational programs Pahinungod has to offer. Following the Industry 4.0, United Nations Pedagogy 4.0, Learning and Teaching in the Digital Age, and the Sustainable Development Goal Number 4. I've always considered my first teaching experience in Datupaglas National High School both a duty and a privilege. Back then, as a scholar ng bayan, brimming with nationalist ideals, I, I, I believed that it was my honorable duty to give back to the nation by volunteering in underserved areas of our country. And I also had to agree with someone who once said, to teach is to touch a life forever, because this is the privilege that comes with being a teacher. It was with great passion that I taught biology to second year high school students because I have always loved biology. I made it my goal to make my students love biology at least half as much as I did. I also had disappointing and heartbreaking experiences with the people in the school and in the community, yet these were nothing compared to what I have gained. A love for teaching and a better appreciation for life. And I thank UP and Pahinungod for that. I sincerely do. Looking back, I actually had other plans before I said yes to GP. After all, never did I dream of becoming a teacher. But God, in His divine sovereignty, had other plans for me. And it was His best plan that prevailed. The GP program subsumed the Affirmative Action Program. It is part of the university's efforts to democratize access to college education by sending UP faculty, staff, and students to underserved and remote areas to train and help students prepare for college. Um, I worked in the local government because that was our scholarship deal. I was one of the first scholars of LGU Libon in the University of the Philippines. And I believe I was able to pass the UPCAT because of Pahinungod and our LGU's partnership in the Affirmative Action Program that happened back in 2007, which strikes me that it has been 13 years from today. Nung una, sabi ko, tatapusin ko lang yung one year. But seven years after I entered the doors of LGU Libon, I'm still here. In those years, I've turned down some job, some job offers because apparently I tell myself na hindi ko pa kaya ang iwan ang libon. Tayo sa pahinungod, yung metrics natin ng success are the intangible and the unquantifiable changes in people's lives. Makikita mo siya sa ngiti, sa pagtango ng ulo, o kaya ay sa biglang liwanag uh, ng mga mata nila kasi nagkaroon sila ng bagong pag-asa o kaya eh, napagtanto nila that they could do more. Also under Gurong Pahinungod is the Teacher Development Program, which is a capacity-building program wherein UP faculty help develop and train public school teachers by sharing their expertise on pedagogy, 
teaching methods and subject areas. To help prepare high school teachers in remote learning, the Ugnay ng Pahinungod Cebu has been leading a series of teacher development program activities for schools in Cebu City and neighboring communities. Volunteering is not new to me. I was already with Pahinungod when it started in 1995. But back then, my work was literally at the sides. I was the one in charge in organizing activities, facilitating the needs of the volunteers, ensuring that everything works smoothly, and all other administrative staff. Now, as a volunteer of the Teachers Development Program of UPC Buugnayan ng Pahinungod, it is a different learning experience for me. Now, I am the one on board, giving inputs, sharing knowledge, and trading stories with my fellow educators from the different public schools in the country. This gives me a different kind of excitement and, yes, a different kind of joy. The best part of volunteering is the reciprocity of experience. Through the Teachers Development Program, I get to know firsthand about their struggles as teachers, of what theories or strategies work and doesn't work in the different classrooms with the different types of learners. Such is a very good input when I go back and teach in my own classroom in UP. It makes my lessons more grounded and more in touch with the social realities in the country. Furthermore, volunteering reminds me that when we share, we receive more than what we give. The GP program also included the Tutorial Services Program, which provides learning sessions for in-school children and out-of-school youth. UP volunteers teach subjects or content areas taught in the partner school for a particular grade level. This is geared, though, not only to improve academic performance, but also to promote the students' holistic development as individuals. The Ugnay ng Pahinungod Open University had its first offering of the online bridge English and Mathematics in 2020, which employed online synchronous sessions facilitated by volunteers who served as course coordinators. The program aims to enrich the knowledge of students in English and Mathematics to prepare them for higher education and to empower students to apply acquired skills in these areas in their daily lives. Pahinungud caters to the psychosocial needs and mental health well-being of communities through the Ugnayan and Pahinungud Committee on Psychosocial Emergency Services, or COPES. It aims to strengthen the capacities of partner communities towards psychosocial well-being through awareness building, referral mechanism, and training of trainers. The Ugnayan ng Pahinungod offices in the eight UP constituent units also have their own programs, which are specifically designed to cater to the needs of their partner communities and which suit the strengths of their respective campuses. The Ugnayan ng Pahinungod Diliman's Peer Counseling Support Program plays a big role in safeguarding the mental health and psychological well-being of UP Diliman students teachers, alumni, and staff. The Ugnay ng Pahinungod is also being tapped to support disaster response activities. In 2019, the Ugnay ng Pahinungod UP system conducted psychosocial activities and medical assistance in Santos Land Evacuation Center in Makilala, North Cotabato from November 20 to 21 called the UP Pahinungod Humanitarian Effort, led by the Ugnay ng Pahinungod Mindanao, along with Ugnay ng Pahinungod Manila, the team conducted rapid psychosocial assessment and intervention for the survivors of the Mindanao earthquakes. The Ugnay ng Pahinungod Manila prides itself on their disaster response activities, medical and surgical missions, as well as their hospice care programs, conducted jointly with the Philippine General Hospital. In terms of, of health, ay uh, napakalaking bagay po ng ginagawang uh, subdical mission ng Pahinungod. Imagine, for seven years, karo kami ng 2,160 uh, patients na beneficiaries. Laki pong bagay ito sa amin. And aside from that, yung mga pasyente namin na hindi makakayang kurahan dito o wala na tapos ng mission, 
kung kinakailang nga operahan ay uh, inirefer namin sa Pahinood uh, sa Manila and they were uh, attended likewise. Uh, Maraming po ako natutunan sa UPPJ's Pahinood. Uh, one is uh, yun po bang spirit of volunteerism na kung saan ang mga doctors, nurses, uh, surgeon and other staff they went on leave just to join the mission. When they went on leave, they missed a lot. Both financially, because na for one week, wala silang ibang trabaho, nakikita sila, and they missed their family because of their sense of volunteerism ay nag-join sila sa mission. Second is, uh, I learned from them that, that working from the heart ay napakaganda. Bakit ko nasabi yun? Imagine the mission uh, work for 12 hours from 8 a.m. to 8 uh, in the evening and sometimes uh, nagpas pa ng 8 p.m. And uh, wala akong nakita sa kala na they got tired, they were happy working, and I would say that they walk an extra mile. The very fact that the volunteers, the mission, wanted to go back to Alabat and join the mission every year, uh, perhaps they are happy to be with us. And uh, nagkaroon kami ng synchronization of idea, and sense of true service to the people. Um, it takes two to tango. Uh, recipients of mission should do their part, especially on the logistics side, uh, like uh, surgical supplies and uh, medicines and uh, others. And uh, we have to make sure that uh, there is a proper and continuous coordination pr prior to the mission to ensure success. Bringing their volunteers to the remotest barrios in nature's preserves in Laguna, the Ugnay ng Pahinungod Los Banyos maintains an active presence through their farmer scientist program and other community empowerment activities. The Ugnay ng Pahinungod Baguio capitalized on its expertise in the arts and literature through launching their e project. The E denotes its use of the online format to adapt to the mobility restrictions because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Historiaan, an Ilocano term meaning storytelling, aptly depicts the manner by which individuals exchange views and share their experiences. The e Historiaan project aims to complement the efforts of the public schools in Benguet to increase the students' reading comprehension skills. Inala ni Miko, ti Batman ang maskarana sa insuot na. Totong! Siyak ni Batman! Nagpintas ni maskarak, tatang! Maakuban ti si Bubuka, larupa! The wide base and network of Pahinungod volunteers range from UP students, faculty, staff, alumni, and retirees. As a testament to this, strong network of volunteers UP Pahinungod Visayas held four Balik Pahinungod activities which brought together its former Gurong Pahinungod volunteers. On March 6, 2020, the Udayanang Pahinungod Visayas celebrated the 25th founding anniversary of the Udayanang Pahinungod through a forum with the theme Celebrating UP Soul Through Volunteerism. This served as a reunion of former Pahinungod volunteers as well as an avenue for reintroducing the spirit of volunteerism in UP. Pahinungod is about fulfilling the mandate of the University of the Philippines on public service and responsibility. It's about building values and character in the process of serving the people. There's a vast world out there offering lessons that students cannot learn inside the four walls of the classroom. Pahinungod provides its volunteers a limitless well of opportunities to enrich the education provided by the university. Our volunteers are brimming with life-changing stories to tell and lessons to impart. As many of them attest, long after they leave the university, they carry in them these nuggets of wisdom and goodwill, the gems they picked up along the path they traveled to serve the people. Volunteers, students, and professionals alike always say that they go to the communities to help. But in the end, they realize that they themselves have learned a lot from the people. Being a Painungod volunteer is a priceless experience. Through volunteering, we can create an impact 
and make a difference in people's lives. Through the power of volunteering, we can overcome an obstacle or bridge the gap, no matter how insurmountable it may seem. The Ugnayan Pahinungod would not be able to carry out its mission without the staff who provide the structure through which the university's resources are shared to the underserved. Equally important is the support of schools and community partners who continuously work with Pahinungod towards nation building and development. Another vital wheel that is moving the Pahinungod program forward is the donor who graciously support Pahinungod's cause. The Ugnay ng Pahinungod fulfills the public service and social responsibility functions of the university, serving the people, serving the nation. Oh, oh, oh. 